Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you a simple list view in UWP. So how to create a list view in UWP. Uh, so first of all, uh, take a stack panel. As usual, you know very well because um, uh, I was taking lots of video tutorial uh, on the stack panels because in every tutorial I, uh, I was take a stack panel. So uh, with these properties uh, like the margin orientations and the padding and the backgrounds so if you want to just uh, create a list view on the basic of the strings types of items you can do this a list view with the x name is lw1 that is list view 1 and the header of the list view is choose color and the color chooser okay and also use selection changed selection change is an event when we click on that uh, event when we uh, change um, my selections like the uh, uh, select number uh, select index number one select index number two then we uh, we get item from the list view uh, by using this method x strings red string green okay so we have some item in the list view that is the string type of item so rgb colors green uh, red green and blue when we click on the any item so um, that's pass that query into the sender so object sender uh, here we have sender is a list view so list view l1 equals to sender as list view okay now uh, you can use get the item from the uh, list view from the list view so li sorry oops l1 dot selected item selected item dot to string okay now the selected item display on the message box so message dialog is a class dlz that is dialog i want to show Mm, that selected item in the on the message dialog so you can use a message dialog dlg equals to new message dialog with the selected item or you can say selected color that is selected so you can uh, you can get the item by using this method resolve this usings windows.ui.controls okay dlg dot shows uh, asynchronously where uh, you put asynchronous method must to use await keywords and if you use await keywords must with the async keywords Also, you can remove the await and directly run it because it successfully run and display your output. Thank you very much for watching this video.